Africa, 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 welcome once again. Can you believe Africa? It's Tuesday already. Africa, we have some nice things going on. We will be promoting the show. We also have uh, our property show magazine, online magazine. It's in its draft format, but we'll post it on our APR uh, uh, website so that you can also get it and enjoy. See what is happening in studio. See the people that really wants to see a change uh, 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 in, in our African people. It's all about social economic development. You know, I've got a favorite quote. I normally say, life is meaningless without empowering others. Uh, um, there's another quote that I really like the most. They say, you know, even if you have a strong chain, its weakest link will render the chain useless. So, you know, this gap of having the have-nots and the rich is busy widening. We have to narrow it down. Okay, Africans? Uh, uh, you know, sometimes we have to compromise a little. You know, instead of buying that car that is worth $2 million, you know, just rent it out. Have something comfortable for 600, 700,000 and take the rest and help our African brothers so that together we can grow. Having said that, you know, today I'm with my friend, Dr. F.S. Nkumeleni. You know what they do together with other doctors? It's mainly doctors, but not only doctors. They put the funds together every month. They buy properties cash. Why? Because they want to impact each other's lives. And this show is all about that. All we're doing, we just give them knowledge. That brothers and sisters, as much as you're going out there buying these properties, can we also be those elder brothers and give you the knowledge so that you buy properties that are correctly priced, that are market related. And if you're lucky, help you with the negotiations as well. But you know what? Let me not take too much of time because that in Kumilene is here. That in Kumilene. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You made it. I made it today. And it's what? Over four months? Ever since I've asked you that you're going to come to the show? Yes, it's over four months. So. And then today he said, no matter what, I'm going to see that young man. Yes. So that I can speak to him and speak to his listeners. Yes. And encourage someone. Definitely. By the way, in in Kumilini, our, uh, our listeners ranges from the ages of 16 all above. Mm -hmm. So we want that young man who's 16 years, who's about to finish metric, to have an idea of the people who have already started. We can't only have the professionals in property, also people like you, who are totally uh, uh, not connected to property, but who are using it as a base of wealth. Is that correct, sir? It's correct. So now we're going to take a, a, a break, and then when we come in back, we're firing on. Is that good? Yes, it's good. Thank you. Africa, let's take that short break. When we're coming, we're firing on. Africa is all about education. Uh, Mr. Mashilo has uh, uh, made it as well. You know, he travels. He goes to Cape Town. He goes to all radio stations. Let me tell you something. I don't have competitors. I have sisters. He was in another radio station teaching the Africans. Now he's on this uh, uh, radio station teaching the Africans again. Man, just give a man a pulse. But guess what? I don't think he drinks, does he? I don't know, but uh, he does not look like. That in Kumilin. <laughs> Let's talk. You've seen Mashilo, but now this is your moment. Talk to me, sir. Thank you. How did it all start? Um, yeah. It started about four years ago. Four years ago, yes. Yes. I'm, like you have been worrying about this uh, new government and the powers we have, but with no economy for the black people. Yes, sir. So I talked to my colleagues because those were the nearest to me at the moment. And Given your profession, obviously, these are the people you speak to daily. Yes. That's yes, correct, sir. Yes. So we decided to start this crowdfunding. Yes, sir. It's basically a stock fail. Yeah. The difference is we don't buy fish oil and tinned fish and, and have meals. Yes. So yes. we save the money and yes. buy properties in cash. Beautiful. So, so it ranges from 2500 to about 5000 per person every, every month. month. So yes. this is the money that you're pulling together, yes, and then you use that to buy properties. That's true. And there's something that is very important as well, because sometimes we can use weights interchangeably, but not necessarily that they mean the same. Because as much as you run it as a stock fail, it is not necessarily a stock fail. You're running a company. Yes. 
we we register a PTY. That's correct. Sir. So we have six at the moment. Yes. The sixth one will be formalized on Saturday. So so the first one, how many people do you have? We we prefer to have ten shareholders. You have ten shareholders. Yes. And then out of the ten shareholders, how many directors do you have? Minimum two. Minimum, we've got two directors. Yes. So you give them the opportunity to learn. And how do you choose these directors? Because mainly are doctors. We 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 look at the youngest people. Interesting. Um, preferably females as well, because we want to empower them. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. it's the young men and females. Yes. First. Yes. And then you allow them to to run it as a company. That's right. In fact, Africa, I was privy to go visit them uh, uh, at Bela Bela and I was invited there. Uh, uh, I saw a young man uh, who's Ntatin Kumelene's son. Uh, Dark is his name, isn't it? Yes. Yes. And he gave them the chores of, of, of running minutes and basically of conducting the whole uh, uh, quorum the, the whole thing that happens in a PTY. And he's actually. only 25 years old. And he's only 25 years old. He has been and that doing group, it for by the two way, years now. That group, how many properties have they purchased? Um, they are on the fourth one. They are now. on the fourth one. And they are just over a year, four months. So in a year, four, four months, months, we've purchased uh, uh, four, four properties. properties. Cash uh, paid off. Cash mm. paid off. Mm. Africa, are you listening? Africa, are you getting inspired? I was so inspired when I was with them. And then, Continue. Tell us more about other groups as well. How are they doing? Uh, group one has five paid up properties Lovely. and we have the title deeds just Lovely. to prove that. Lovely. And all together and individually because each of the person uh, uh, involved in the five or six groups yeah. have their own properties. They also have their properties. I yes. know that you have almost about 25 properties. About that, yes. Yes. And all together we... And this is outside the group. That's right. This is your own personal one. That's right. This is the legacy. That's right. For the Mkumilini family. That's right. And after you've done it so much, you say, no, man, I can't be doing this alone. You know, remind me of the three lepers. Uh, uh, from a from a certain great book that I like, I won't mention his name, but it's mm. just a history book. Mm -hmm. Now these lepers, they were so hungry, and they went across. They found food, and they said, "Hey, let's go tell our brothers and sisters there's plenty of food." So you did the same thing. I did the same thing. You said, "Guys, I've got 25 properties. Guess what? You two can do this for your family." That's right. Uh, and and just to for credibility's sake, uh, I'm in the three of the six groups. Yes, sir. And then my son is the fourth from my family, just to show people that, you know, I'm in business about this. Yes. Mm. So you are doing it, you are coaching others, and you are also mentoring. That's right. And you're also mentoring from your own house. That's right. And, and then these companies, what do you call them? There's Manko Mantla. Manko Mantla. Mamonto. Mamonto. Sitlanku. Sit yes. And the sixth one, we still have to come up with the name. But normally, we look at the same names of people who are there yes. and just join the first two words or something. Yes. And in total now, how many are you? 60. 60. We are 50. 60. 60. And 10 about to add. Yeah. Africa, are you listening? We've increased our listenership by 60 new people. And they are all listening. Because and they are all listening. Mm. So you want to say hi to them? Hi, everybody. <laughs> I know the coach will be sending you WhatsApp messages. Oh yes, <laughs> at four 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 ten this morning. Yes. Uh, next morning. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Um, any special words that you really want to say? Anything else that is in your heart that you really want to inspire uh, others? Um, we all earn an income. Yes, sir. So to create wealth takes what you earn. Minus what you spend. Yes, sir. And the biggest challenge, especially on black people, is the spending side. Tell us about it, sir. <laughs> we always spend beyond our means, yes. you know. And and nothing is left at the end of the month. And some of us are, are owing at the end of each month. Yes. So hence we can finance our investment. Yes. So try and live below what you earn. Yeah. So that you have some surplus of money which yes. you can in, in invest or, or finance your investment. Yes, sir. So that's where we're getting our, our 2500 from because we try and live below what we earn. So in other words, instead of the Range Rover, as you mentioned earlier, you know, buy a simple car, second hand, try and pay it off as soon as possible so that you have the surplus amount. Yes. 
the house as well. Don't go buy a 1.5 million house when you can't afford it. So buy five, six, seven hundred thousand rent and invest the rest. Yes, sir. Because if you don't, when your kids go to university one day, you won't have the necessary finance. Yes. Unfortunately, including my kids, of course, kids are not very ambitious these days, the way I see. Um, so they are unlikely to get scholarship or bursaries. And you will have to pay from your pocket. So if you are not saving for that, maybe a problem later on. Yeah. Retirement as well. Um, you may outlive the little you are saving now if you don't save enough. Yes. And it's always best to add on an additional sources of income other than your one income you're getting from your employer or your business. Yes, sir. You said it all. You said it all. You know what? You're about to take my position, but I'm not going to allow you. But I am so much impressed. Okay. Then Kumelin, you're not going to go. We're going to introduce uh, Tate Mashilo, and then we're going to learn, the two of us. Yes. So whenever he says anything, if we need to ask him questions, we are now in his class. He is the lecturer. He is a fundi, just like you are a fundi in the medical profession. So he's a doctor in the property profession. So we need to give it to the doctor. Africa, let's take this quick break. And then when you come back, I'm telling you, it's fire.